Sean Diddy Combs has released his first statement since the raid on his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. Through his attorney, he said the whole thing was a witch hunt, but many of us aren't buying it. The once untouchable Sean Diddy Combs is now in a very dangerous situation, with a former prosecutor even saying an arrest is imminent. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. We touched upon this last night, but I really wanted to focus on it again. This statement coming in from Diddy defiantly trying to label things a witch hunt. I don't think it's helping matters. And more information is coming, including a former prosecutor who says an arrest is absolutely on the way. I want to go to Fox 11's report here with Gina, who did a wonderful job here breaking down the statement and more. One day after Fox 11 News was the first to bring you exclusive footage of heavily armed federal agents raiding the homes of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Agents going room to room seizing evidence for their case, as seen here in this TMZ video, even detaining Diddy's sons. There's three people right there that were taken into custody. Diddy's attorney issued a long statement that says in part, quote, Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. Now, we talked yesterday to our own attorney who said that's pretty standard and it wasn't that, uh, uh, you know, a gross overuse and that there were armed guards because they knew Combs had his own, you know, armed weapons as well. And that's just a safety precaution. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, yeah. nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way, yeah, unquote. But I, former federal prosecutor Nima Romani believes an arrest is just a matter of time. Diddy is in a world of hurt. He's being prosecuted likely by the most prestigious prosecution office in the country in the Southern District of New York. And a federal judge had to sign off on not one, but two search warrants of his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. And of course, we know that there are several civil lawsuits against them. And when there's smoke, there's fire. In Indeed, when there's smoke and fire, as the, as the statement continues. But Combs' attorney says, quote, this unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. I think this statement's interesting because first he was saying it was a shakedown, that these people were coming for money, and now he's saying it's a witch hunt. It really just feels like he's pulling every buzzword of someone who's been canceled. Andy Signor, host of Popcorn Planet, a pop culture show on YouTube, says the internet can't get enough of this case and people are hungry for justice. I think people don't like, you know, powerful people getting away with things. And I think this is an example of someone who's starting to smell a little fishy and people are sick of it. You know, a lot of people are struggling out there. They're trying to figure out how to pay the rent. And this billionaire is now declaring a witch hunt. Sorry, we're not buying it. I like Neither that. representatives for Jones or Gooding responded to our immediate request for comment. I'm uh, shout out to Gina Silvia. Bravo on that report and bravo for her for oh wait, I'll make her a better, Gina better freeze frame. There we go. Uh, she called me last night after the stream and was honored to be part of that uh, piece that she just put together. Uh, well done. That was a lot of fun. I was on Fox last night in Los Angeles. If you caught me. Thank you, Gina. Very kind of you. Go follow her at Gina Silva Fox 11. Uh, and uh, yeah, but look, I, I, I share those thoughts with you because I agree. I think this uh, these buzzwords, the witch hunt, everything else, it's too much. Witch hunt from what? As I went on a rant yesterday, I don't understand what they're trying to do. Like who's out to get him? This dude's a billionaire. Like wh This is a weird, just legal uh, spin by PR where of course, look, I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. Sean Diddy Combs is innocent until proven guilty. But man, there's a lot of bad smell on him right now. And so he's got to start ex extinguishing that with evidence, proof, right? Not just he's in, he's he's innocent, he's innocent. We need to see some more stuff because now there's a lot, a lot of stuff coming out. And I suspect a lot more coming. I think a lot of people are watching this case closely 
trying to figure out, can I come forward next? Like what's going on? It does seem like a lot is happening. I, I, I'm getting my own tip offs just so you know, and we're prepping. I wanna vet things before we go there, but sources I'm saying are telling me he's absolutely super guilty. And there is so much more to be you know, un, un, unreleased as this progresses and people feel safer coming forward. This really does feel like a Weinstein type of situation where he has been so, uh, he, he's so full of himself. Like this article says, untouchable for decades, but people are now ready to take him out. He has a very questionable past that he's been able to control because of his power for a very long time. Derek Parker, who was a detective in the N NYPD's Rap Intelligent Unit, AKA Hip Hop Cops, told The Post, but it looks to me like someone is behind this, someone who really wants to destroy his brand and take him down. Parker was referencing to Homeland Security agents swarming Miami through a thriller style through in a TV thriller style surprise raid. The court, the cross country invasion was reportedly related to trafficking allegations told the post. Meanwhile, a dazed looking Combs was seen in Miami uh, executive airport uh, stopped by the feds by the tarmac, apparently bound for a Caribbean spring break with some of his seven kids. Uh, the, the, his drug mule was taken. Um, Jones accused Cope. Uh, we, we, we've gone through all these accusations and we've talked about it. I don't want to lose these, the stream until now. Uh, but, uh, someone's giving them sensitive information. Someone's cooperating and it's probably someone close to him. The former detective who assigned, who was assigned the, to two of Diddy's more infamous cases in New York in the nineties and knew the rapper. Well, this looks to me like the tip of the iceberg. Both the California and Florida raids were led by the Homeland security invasions. Uh, this is an unprecedented ambush is nothing more than a witch hunt as his lawyers obviously said. Um, sorry, I thought I had, there was more of this quote, but there's not. Um, but there it is. What's, what's interesting is, yeah, there might, there, there might be an ambush. There might be something, but now the people are sick of hiding it for him. That's what I think is happening. And I think Diddy is trying to play witch hunt and all these things as this cop's even saying, like, yeah, someone wants to destroy his brand and take him down. I don't think out of jealousy. I think because they know this guy's done a lot of wrong and it's and it's time to expose it before someone else gets exposed. To me, that's what I really think is happening. Uh, I don't understand who's trying to get him under that then wouldn't be worried about themselves getting under. You know what I mean? Perhaps someone's taken a deal, right? Which is all the point of this drug mule that's now been, uh, you know, was arrested, is now back. Uh, we're seeing new footage coming in of them at the airport. Here's P. Diddy and uh, Brandon uh, as well uh, at the uh, the airport. So, uh, Bre sorry, Brendan. Brendan Paul was right there in the mix uh, in the blue sweatshirt, as you can see from his mugshot. And Diddy was right here. Same attire he was in Miami. Uh, this was from that airport, the previous Miami footage. You can see them now for the first time engaging with the authorities. Uh, look, this is serious. I, I don't believe this is just a shakedown because of what? what? What's the reason for the shakedown unless there's something actually going wrong here? I don't get what they are, what Diddy has that the Homeland Security is trying to shut up. Do you know what I mean? Like what? Is it? I, I can't figure it out. If someone's got a theory out there, you want to share it, put it down in the comments below before you go to those comments. Hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the bell for all alerts, smash that like button, and let me know what you think on this case because it's just getting started. I'm getting a lot of stories coming in. A lot of previous things are getting unreleased uh, and coming back to the surface to expose more. We're going to cover it all for you, so stay tuned. And thank you guys so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet. And shout out again, Gina Silva. Thanks for the report on Fox 11. That was fun.